Hi friends, this is Amit Pathak. Hope you are doing well and hope you are having a wonderful time today. I just finished an NLP practitioner program and one of the things that I usually notice is that students and people learn NLP techniques but they don't really know how it will connect to real world problems. If you are facing the same kind of situation, if you have learned your NLP practitioner or some NLP techniques but don't really know how you can connect them to real world issues that people face then you must watch this video because when we do an NLP practitioner program it is very important that we make the students realize how real world problems that come to them are not as simple as understanding um, a technique and applying it it is a lot complicated people are a lot more complicated than uh, simple use of NLP techniques and then how you can connect many NLP techniques together so that you can bring about that big change in a person's problems is what you can see uh, in this video where students from an NLP practitioner program that they attended uh, very recently with me were taught how to connect to real issues, complex issues that people face. So hope this gives you ideas about how you can use NLP in your therapy, career or profession. So hope you enjoy this. See you. Bye bye. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to stitch all that together and give a solution to what we think is the right thing to be done in this situation. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, we have got as a client a 33 year old male named BSW who is married and living in Mumbai. And the problem that he has, the problem is the need that he wants from us is to think positively. Uh, to think positively in only the context of his work, office work. Uh, that is what he has stated, that is while entering a room particularly, maybe it is a meeting, canteen or somewhere else. He wants positivity. He has to think in a positive manner and he has to feel that Everybody wants me around. I am a likable person. That is what he needs from us. In his past, there is so many memories that uh, he had, which is like he has always in negative thoughts in the past because uh, he is separated from his parents and he is uh, with uh, his grand um, grandparents and auntie who grown up in uh, and uh, when uh, he was there, he was uh, feeling. Uh, uh, Subjected from others and he is uh, feel alone. He can't share his feeling from others. So uh, it needs uh, words. He said that uh, I am always alone and uh, always thinking about negative things. And when uh, he grown up and went to the school and uh, colleges, he feel that uh, he has uh, no friends. And when the friend goes, he doesn't take it positively. He always take it, uh, he can't make a sense of his jokes. And he, sometimes he is pretending like his jokes are good. Uh, I can uh, happy with that. But he is not uh, happy inside. He is very social to everybody. In the today's scenario, like when the need arises, he can connect with that when the need is there. He can be jovial, that is just need appropriate. Other times he is into, within like. Right? And goes to some surgery, we, uh, surgery, and he is pretended that uh, he is very sick, want to be attention everybody. So he pretended he is sick. sick. He went to the appendix surgery. What there is no problem of appendix, but he went uh, to doctor and they did the surgery. After that, the doctor said there is no problem. He is continuously going, going, and he has that problem. Then we go through a case and we decided that. Uh, yeah, so uh, so there are a couple of things that came out as we discussed uh, and looked through his past. Uh, one is his childhood <coughs> memories, which uh, which talk about while he was very young. Uh, one of the reasons uh, things that we could find out is lack of socialization. <coughs> there were some specific incidents that he delineated where uh, you know because of which he was he was not very comfortable socializing with people. And that was why he was a child. And then when he went to school, the same problem <coughs> continued of his inability to uh, probably crack jokes or, uh, uh, you know, also influence people. Uh, so, and he felt nervous. The same thing continued 
uh, while he uh, while he was a bachelor and he really liked the girl and he approached that girl the same situation happened where she got back to him stating that uh, you are an introvert and because of which i do not want to consider you so if you look at uh, if you look at the past history there were some repetition of scenarios or behavior uh, which which could have been because of lack of socialization uh, while he was while he was a child or those childhood memories having repeating itself and having an impact on him uh, so uh, again you know the recent concept that we learned of uh, personal history uh, change is something that could be used in this particular scenario uh, but because we discussed this yesterday uh, and we went through this uh, uh, as we went through this case uh, file we found out that his problem statement is lack of confidence and not being able to socialize and so we said that if we are able to take him uh, through his past and uh, you know uh, if we can flush yes. out uh, that negative behavior or or that negative feeling that he has uh, which which left a scar on him early in his life which got cut, continued again and again we'll be able to relieve him out of that nervousness and that bad feeling because as a person uh, it came out that you know when he really has to be confident when he has to give presentations he's able yes. to do so but it's just that you know in a in a social setting he is not he doesn't really know how to interact or socialize per se in a forced behavior he does that does. yeah in a forced behavior he is able to do that but so we generally he not feel good to that yeah so that we uh, we uh, we uh, we have yeah so and every every single place he talks about uh, feeling uh, he is feeling nervous etc so we looked at kinesthetic detox as an uh, as an option where we could actually take him to that past memory the first memory uh, that he had and actually help him flush that off through that steel pipe experiment that we did and then restore positive energy into him future pace uh, him with that positive energy uh, and uh, you know show him the new picture as you know the renewed energy gets into him and he becomes like a like a new person will future pace him to show him now in a situation uh, you know he is able to interact with people he is able to crack jokes probably and uh, you know socialize with people and hope that helps positive uh, energy bring positive yeah. energy remove his nervousness uh, help him be confident and positive in life uh, yeah and that's what he yeah. wants to wants to achieve so what you are suggesting is a kd talk yeah anesthetic yeah. talk because i am a kinesthetic person completely associated with feelings okay